Barry, any uh, any comments as we uh, get close to closing out here? I know when uh, uh, we haven't let you uh, say a word edgewise here. No, no, no. I think uh, almost everything was covered, but I'd just like to echo a couple, I think, crucial points that Carmen mentioned earlier. And what that really is, is with this collaboration, we're really going to delve deep into the mechanism. Um, we're going to truly identify potential biomarkers and the mechanism of action of this immune cell infiltration into these cancers after the, the THT. Um, and what we can do with that is really take that and um, use our knowledge and um, really dig into the uh, to the improvement of the efficacy of this uh, therapy. So uh, the possibilities are endless. Um, and I do want to just emphasize one more time that uh, this is truly a personalized uh, therapy, which is really what we're all looking for um, to minimize side effects of any potential therapy and really aggressively target and kill uh, patient tumors. And the goal is, is to use this study um, to um, uh, make it into a bigger study as well, but to eventually translate this into the clinical sample, to clinical setting. That's great. And it's, you know, it ties into um, uh, par some of the merits of, uh, of targeted hyperthermia that we're, we're proud of and, and seeking to accomplish are the, the lack of uh, or the absence of collateral damage. And, uh, and that's exactly what you're speaking to. And we, uh, when we add these two together, again, the, the impact is a much more selective um, uh, therapy with uh, limited to no um, you know, negative ramifications and implications. No, exactly.